My neck bones seem to be protruding. They're just always been obvious, but right now it's just like really trying to say hello. I don't really. It reminds me of a snake. Hello. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold in here, but it is 77 degrees outside and raining. And I need to go to the sewing lab so I can do a final project. You might be like, oh my god, like what are you even talking about? Like, yeah. <laughs> Who are you? Where the heck are you? What year is it? What season is it? It's 2023. April 2023. <laughs> a little life update. It's not even little. I don't- it's not little. It's pretty big. <laughs> because I have not been posting. The last time I posted was like nine months ago, I think. The rain is getting harder as we speak. You can use the rain sounds as a nice background if you can even hear it. But the last time I saw me, I was just a little Starbucks worker. I'm one of a college dropout, I guess, but not really because I wasn't like, I'm done halfway through a semester or anything. It was just like, I graduated 2020. I did not go straight into college because everybody knows what happened 2020. Like, you know, I then was like, I still want to go to school. So I was at SVA, School of Visual Arts, based in Manhattan. I was studying graphic design. It was pretty cool. My teachers, they could have better. Some of them were good. So you know what? Even though I didn't like painting, I still don't love painting. The painting teacher was pretty cool. But I was there for two semesters, for a spring semester and then a summer semester. After summer rolled around, you know, it was like time to situate what are you doing? Like, because all semester literally is, you know, like that. And it's like, what are you gonna do? School was just too expensive. They were barely giving me any financial aid. Summer 2021, I was like, okay, well, I guess I can't go to SBA anymore, which sucks. But life is life. Like BTS said, life goes on. <laughs> After that, I was like, okay, fine. I'm gonna find a job because like, I don't want to be a 18, 19 year old bum. So I was working at Starbucks for like a year. I don't want to hear anything about Starbucks employees slander from here on out. It's harder jobs, of course, but it's hard on your mental. Let's say that because just people are stupid. Any service job, I think you'll discover that people are stupid. But then 2022 summer rolled around it's like okay you've been at Starbucks for a year what are you gonna do because although yes life was good me having to work and then like create content whenever i was in the mood to create content because if you've been here and you've been loyal then you know i do not upload regularly at all summer 2022 you know you turn 20 and you're just like looking at starbucks and you're like what am i gonna do with my life because yes starbucks offers a free college only thing you have to pay for is like your books and like a computer if you need it i was considering doing that but didn't have anything i wanted there i considered just going into something else besides graphic design for a long time I really did not want to do online school because I did it once, didn't really want to do it again. So I talked to my mother and my father, like where, like what, what am I gonna do? So we were looking for colleges, we were looking for cheaper colleges, we were looking for colleges that offer a lot of financial aid, which of course I'm not gonna tell you straight out, but they'll have a little bit of something on their website that's like, hey. So I found a college, North Carolina, that is pretty good, it had both graphic design and fashion design because I did express more of oh like want to further my knowledge on fashion but mainly the sewing route not necessarily the merchandising marketing whatever route which is still something you touch on even as a graphic designer so I'm at a college right now came here fall 2022 double majoring graphic design and fashion design I've been here you know it's spring 2023 oh but then there was an issue with my camera and like the sd cards or whatever but yeah that's kind of what's going on i want to vlog more just like even if it's simple little vlogs i don't have a lot of editing they're just like cute calming maybe not necessarily cute i'll tell you when i make it to the sewing lab at 5 30. next semester i'm gonna be a junior i'm in these nice little apartments somehow i got in these apartments i don't really know how but yeah that's what i'm doing in my life i'm doing a lot of exciting things a lot of opportunities that I've taken and done and like I'm a freaking ambassador for the National Retail Federation Foundation that's a pretty big thing 
I've been super busy and I've been wanting to record, but some classes, some professors are like, no, don't record. I kind of want to be really put on my focus into my work. But to answer another question that everybody might be like, oh my god, like, what, what's wrong with you? I have these glasses on. My dad glasses. Because my bags. <laughs> oh, oh, that's as much as you get. Between Thursday and today, Saturday, I've slept like three hours. My bags are in critical condition. Critical condition. That's me, that's my life, that's what I'm going through. Sunday, I will go tomorrow. Yes. And I will record a little, a little vlog, you know, focusing on um, what I do in my day, on my weekends, in the studio. But have fun, loves. Have fun with life. And do whatever the heck you want. But thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video, which hopefully I like actually edit this and post it. Because I have a tendency to like film stuff and then not post it. Like I have so much unedited video clips, videos that were like great ideas and then I just didn't really know how to execute the editing and like a lot of vloggy type things and then I just was like, eh, whatever. Post it. Peace.